insane to see this car back to normal in the interior. I can't believe the smell is gone. Everything's gone. Like it. So at the end of this video, you guys will see the full reaction of this owner when he gets his Honda Civic Si completely transformed and back in his possession. This is what it looks like before. It's a crap show. This thing's been sitting since 2019 and there's a whole story of why all this stuff is in this vehicle. But I'm gonna show you guys all the tips and tricks I use so that way you can use them to transform your own vehicle and make it look like new again. So smash that subscribe button if you haven't already. Let's go ahead and get started. So since this car has been sitting in a field in Ohio, that means that mice have obviously found their way in. There's mice turds everywhere. Any of those wrappers you saw definitely chewed through. They're in here. Um, we're going to see if we find some here later on. That is always part of the fun game, but I did find this cooler that was full of moldy stuff. This thing stunk. It was probably worse than any car I've ever had on this channel. It smelled that bad when I opened it. So that immediately got out of the garage as soon as possible. Now, if you're wondering if I'm gonna pull the carpets, the answer is yes. This is a perfect example of a car that I would pull the carpets on once we get all this stuff pulled out of it and the carpets vacuumed. So I want you after this video to go over to foxclean.com to get your detail and supplies, my own personal brand, get all the products that I use in my videos so that way you can clean your car as well. And to show my appreciation and to help you guys out, use the code SHIPFREE at checkout to get free shipping on orders over $25. That'll save you a ton of money. So after this video, head over there, foxclean.com, pick up your detail and supplies.
Now for these floors, after the all-purpose cleaner has been sprayed on and they've been drill brushed, I like to use a vacuum to suck up the extra liquid first, so that way my microfiber towels, one, don't take a full beating, but also it helps with removing like a lot of the chunky stuff that kind of gets agitated and, and moved off the surface that's kind of embedded. So um, it's a nice little trick, especially if you have a wet dry vac, just to utilize that step and it saves you a little bit of time. Now for this vehicle in particular, the carpets were pulled because of the mice remnants everywhere. I was fully expecting to find nest underneath the carpets, but to my surprise, that was not the case. So this thing is in better condition than I expected it to, and maybe the guys that got into the car didn't set up shop um, like, I, I, like I truly thought happened. So using my carpet cleaner solution, which is linked in the description box below for you to check out, spraying that on, drill brushing, and then pressure washing and rinsing them off, and then we're gonna be hanging this sucker out to dry. And since it's a sunny day in Ohio, these things will dry pretty quickly. This part right here is hard to show. This thing weighed a ton, and you don't want to get covered in the water from this thing, but it was a bit of a pain in the butt to get it on top of this ladder. 
The main reason is you want to get that water to drip off of it instead of puddling and just sitting there. Plus, it gives you the opportunity to give a final rinse and rinse off the backside as well. Now for these seats, I'm using the same solution as previously and the drill brush, especially on the side bolsters because as this uh, owner is a mechanic, grease gets on this and the suede seat doesn't actually even look like suede. And this is the same with the armrest too on the inside. So they took a little bit extra work, but with the Mighty Extractor and the hot steamy water that comes out of it, it helps melt it and move it around. And you'll see here in those extractor shots, how much dirt gets removed. The key thing with the extractor after you've drill brushed the spray on liquid, your cleaner, just use your extractor to suck up and remove that dirty water before you spray on and inject further fluid. The main reason is, is when you inject that further fluid, all that dirt that you've kind of agitated and moved around gets blown into the fabric and into the actual foam of the seat. Whereas if you suck off the surface water and the dirty stuff first, then use your water extractor rinse to get any remaining liquid out from the inside and on the surface as well.
who's hungry now? That's all I got to say. So for all the interior panels, I used all-purpose cleaner, my detailing brushes, and microfiber towels initially to get the surface level dirt off. And then we're using the steam cleaner to get any of the grease and grime, the things in all the different little channels and tracks, especially the armrest, to get that grease dislodged before we can wipe it up and clean it. This is one tip I highly recommend if you have a car that has been sitting for a while, so mold, or if it's a smoker's car, or just a dirty car in general. Your steam cleaner is a great tool to use to blow inside the air vents because it will tr go through the entire uh, air conditioning tract, blow out all of the other vents, so that way that steam, because it's super heated obviously, will you know kind of disinfect, if you will, and help with odor elimination.
At first I thought this armrest in that one front corner was just worn down and that suede was kind of just matted, um, but it was embedded with so much grease from the owner's elbow that we were able to remove it here in a second. I'll show you how I do it. Just using the drill brush, all-purpose cleaner, and a little bit of steam took care of it and made this thing look brand new at the end. Insane to see this car back to normal in the interior. It hasn't been like this in, let's say, since 2019 or before. Just street racing it and taking it to car shows. That's all this car was about when I got taken it from Florida to Texas to anywhere you can imagine. It's insane. To be able to drive it and just enjoy it again is going to be really nice. Yeah, I'm going to put all the pictures on the screen of what it used to look like so oh, everyone can yeah, see. It's crazy. It's insane how that. Uh, how the transformation of being on the car when you race it, and when you see the pictures of what it looked like before, it was more or less, uh, that's how it got me into the car scene, and then I realized racing was where I wanted to be. You can't believe the smell is gone, everything's gone. Like, the thing you don't get from seeing a video is, like, the effect it really, like, it changes the whole car, that's awesome. It's amazing, man. Well, cool, man. Well, thank you for letting me detail it, man. I appreciate you detailing it. I try to show my videos that detailing is not that complicated. It just takes a lot of time, effort, and perseverance to tackle jobs just like this, and you can do the same thing with your car. So click this video on screen so that way you can learn more about detailing, but also the owner's reaction in this video is insane. So go watch it now. I'll see you over there in a minute.